out competing guys, out working guys. And I tell you what, he's really done a great job. Oh, there you go. Another big run. We need run. to get that this lunch pail defense back. Coney, <laughs> another young freshman. Well, he saw Prelo score, and Coney's out of Hermitage High School down in Richmond. It was Phillips that finally caught him down. You know, it's funny. You want the young guys to do great offensively, but that Maroon team needs to get to the 14-yard line. That snaps a bit high. What a tremendous shift by Prelo. It will be first and goal. Boy, he showed us some wiggle there, didn't he? <laughs> I'm telling you, he, he is very shifty in the open field. Just a little inside handoff. And just you see that move right there. He put on the defender, Tyler Childress. And, uh, yeah. Just Who is going to be the number two QB for Virginia Tech? Here's Coney again. He had that long run earlier, and he gets about nine on the first down play here. So Drones and his team up 14-0 from the 30. Prelo, who's been one of the stars today, gets a good first down run of nearly eight yards. He's one of those guys, jet sweep, screen passes, uh, that you can utilize in many ways. They're going to throw him the ball again. Nice catch. Prelo inside the 10. Does he score? You bet. Touchdown Tech, 22. P.J. Prelo with his second touchdown. And this is where I think they'll utilize P.J. Prelo the most in this upcoming season, getting him into the flat, getting him in the pass game because he is so hard to take down in the open field. I mean, you have Tootin and Thomas kind of, you know, your, your bell cows for between the tackles. Now, Prelo can run between the tackles, showing that, but he's dangerous on the outside. You get him in space in that passing game. For 82 yards, trying to get the Orange team on the board late in the second quarter. Here is Coney, the freshman from Richmond. Got ahead for a couple of yards. I think the offensive line has played well on both sides today. You know, they've... From the 26, Coney slipped. He might have taken that a lot further, but he's right near the first down marker on the 20. Alves made the tackle on... Jeremiah. Yeah, had some running room there. Just tries to cut back, loses his footing. Good job up front, just loses his footing and goes down. And we saw, and then PJ Perillo stepping up again. A guy in space that can be dangerous. That's an inside handoff where he shows his speed. Another one, you see that, that cut, that jump cut right there. And then this is what I really like. Get him in to the flat, get him in the passing game. And this is where I think he's going to pay dividends. Hey, and bring back this much productivity and not you know, be optimistic and good for next season, again, the ACC needs to watch out because I really think this Virginia Tech team is going to compete next year. Running clock in the third and fourth quarters, and that's Jeremiah Coney with another big run. School product. There were two or three days this year in spring ball that – Number 21 looked like he could be a real star. He's got breakaway speed. We saw that earlier here today.